What's going on? This is Nate Tries to Trade, and today I took one loss and one winner, and I ended up uh, negative about 500 bucks on the day. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and break down the trades and why I'm actually really proud of myself. So here we go. Overall, on the day, we were up here in this uh, little resistance area on the daily chart and we have been trending upwards very strongly for the last two weeks. I saw at around 9.15 this morning, if I can go back to it. So at around 9.15 this morning, I see uh, this little range that's kind of chopping around right here. What my idea was is we get like a strong break and a close below this range, which we ended up getting. I wanted to get in on this candle here, but by the time I got my order set up to do that, it was already down here. It doesn't go with my plan to wait for an entry. Like whenever I am wanting to get in, I want the next candle to, or to break this wicks low. So I put my entry here and I was thinking, you know, hey, maybe it'll come back up and get me in. And uh, it did, it did. And it ended up stopping me out. <laughs> so had I not taken the trade or gotten in where I wanted to, I would have gotten my one-to-one -one, uh, pretty much immediately. That way I could have taken the trade to break even. So this shouldn't have even been a loss for me. I did something dumb. I tried to adjust my plan. So anyway, I sit around, I wait, and it, it, and it chops this area for like a good 10 minutes. So I'm waiting for another flat bottom candlestick to break this range, which we got right here. I put my entry in here and I put my stop loss below the body of this candlestick here, where it proceeded to chop around forever. So my one-to-one's here. I have an order uh, sitting up here to get filled right here on this line. And the whole time it's chopping, this thing is just edging me. I was like, man, should I go ahead and should I go ahead and take you know a small loss just to get out so I can move my stop loss to break even? Because it's just wicked. You know, I wanted to get a little bit of money on the board. I ended up finally getting filled over here. I had somebody comment on one of my YouTube videos yesterday, one of the, the $1,800 loss video that I posted, and he suggested that maybe uh, having a trailing drawdown, letting that run. Instead of just having it a one to two, trail the stop loss behind behind the candles as they go up. That's what I did. And there's not really there's not really an issue with that uh, because it helps me capture a lot more of the move than what I would have originally got had I not done that. But hindsight's always 2020. I really wish I would have just uh, left it at the one to two risk to reward ratio uh, where where I usually put it. I didn't, uh, and it, and that's totally that's totally fine. But you know, the thought process is, you know, whenever we do get uh, a good move and it and it starts to run, you know, it would be really profitable to get uh, to go for the one to three or uh, uh, one to four. Have this have these crazy risk reward ratios. But the problem that I have with trailing drawdown, especially with the strategy, your your stop loss is at the bottom of these candles, and if you get any wicks to the downside, you'll just end up getting stopped out. And I guess you could trail it like a candle behind, but again, you know the market's crazy sometimes, and we're we're looking at a at a pretty pretty quick chart. So the one minute's gonna bounce around a lot more than like what a five minute would or something like that. That's why I usually have a one to two risk reward ratio. You know, I might go ahead and maybe have a one to one, close most of my position, leave one contract here. That way, if it does get filled and then have one trailing, that's a trailing stop. You know, that could be something that, that I wanna do, but I have used trailing drawdowns in the past. They don't really work for me. When they work for me, they work really well, but oftentimes I find myself getting stopped out more, more often than not, and then it continues to go. But maybe I should just give it more room to work with, but that's kind of why I like to do the one to two risk reward ratio. It, we're closing half the position out to one to one and then letting the rest run. Uh, that's kind of the idea, you know, trail the drawdown up to break even. That way if it does come back down, which obviously it did, to just go ahead and get get out of the trade and, and you know, move on to the next one. But the reason why I'm really proud of myself, number one, I stuck with my plan, had a loss on the day and I didn't go on tilt, which was something that I was struggling with. Had I not been using the entry model that I have, I would probably be in a lot worse position like I was on Friday, Monday, and Tuesday, where I just keep trading, trying to make it back. So this is a huge win for me, and I'm really proud of myself. Instead of walking out with 
eleven hundred dollars on the day. I I did. You know, my rule is two two losing trades in a row and I'm done, or one winning trade in a row and I'm done. Because the the goal is to get green, and statistically, I usually have about a fifty percent uh, ratio. So, plus having a positive risk to reward is also going to help out with that. So. There was a lot of stress on the second trade just because it was so close to my one-to-one -one take profit. It stinks getting caught up in, in a chop zone like that, but really what I did is I, I, left, I left it up and I ended up walking away. And then I came back at the right time uh, to bring the one-to-one -one down just a little bit. So that way that could stop me out and I could put my take profit uh, at a one-to-one -one. so uh, but I'm proud of myself I got some money on the board I was able to recover most of what I lost hopefully tomorrow will be a better day overall on the week I am still down quite a bit $5,800 uh, down on the week which is kind of to be expected you know I dug myself quite a hole and I really don't expect to get out of it but I do want to at least see this chart right here starting to go back up that that's the goal on the month the month is really bad oh, let's go to it oh the month isn't terrible but thirty two hundred dollars down on the month technically i'm in the green it's just all these trading fees and commissions that get to me but anyway i'm just gonna keep keep going with it we had some pretty decent price action today if i if i would have followed my my rules and my plans on this first trade i would not be down what i am uh, i was stupid I didn't get in here where I wanted to. I waited for it to come back up, which now that I'm thinking about it is probably the dumbest thing you could do because you're trying to, you want it to go against you a little bit just so you can get into the trade. <sighs> I don't even know what I was thinking, but had I got in where I wanted to, I would have at least got my one to one. I uh, wouldn't have got the one to two, but you know, it would have, it, I would have, it would have been a break even trade. So, you know, that's, that's really all that I could have wanted or asked for. So. I was on the right side of each move today. Uh, this kind of made a higher low, which is why I wasn't looking for uh, another tank down to the downside. And I was kind of looking for a reversal. So we got this push up, wanted it to continue to go up, but obviously the market needed some more time to chop around some, get a, a little bit to get some liquidity built up. Uh, where it continued to continue to break out and now it's just kind of petering out the rest of the day. That's, uh, that's where I landed. I think I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Having my having my one to one taking half off and then taking the other half off at a one to two and then moving the stop to break even after the after the one to one profit targets hit. Everyone stay awesome out there and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye.